Hey guys, thanks for checking out my channel today. My name is Molly. I'm trying something new with my audio. I am using a little recorder that's on my desk because the last time I recorded something I had um, like a mic up on there and there was like this weird clicking sound. And it was really annoying so I had to use the camera mic and it just didn't sound great so whatever. Just bear with me if it sounds terrible. Who knows what we'll do next. So today I have been asked by a couple friends to help them figure out how to use a product or what's the best way to use a product um, or, you know, just generally what you do with a certain product. So I decided I'm going to start a new little series on my channel. If you're interested in stuff like that, make sure that you subscribe down below and turn on the notifications so you can find out when I upload new videos. I'm going to try and do this every single week. So I had two of my friends ask me to show them how to use bronzer and they asked me to make a video and I thought, why not? So I am not, I don't wear bronzer every single day. Let's start off with that. Let's also start off with a disclaimer saying I am not a makeup artist. I make things up as I go. I, well, I don't make things up as I go. I kind of make things up as I go, but everything that I've learned, I've learned from other YouTubers or from reading a blog or just kind of experimenting on my own and figuring things out. So this is the bronzer that I currently own. It is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer. It has an SPF of 15 and this is in Reserve Your Cabana, which a lot of people on YouTube I've noticed have this bronzer. It is um, a little shimmery. It's definitely, I. It's not glittery, but I wouldn't say that it's a matte bronzer at all. I'm going to show you how I would apply this, typically, on days that I wear it. Um, and I also have another product. It's not a bronzer. I got this um, from Ulta. They had this special, like, you buy a certain amount of money and they give you, like, a six-piece color set is what they called it. Or something like that. And this is from Color Science. And it is their Sun Forgettable loose mineral sunscreen and it's an SPF of 50. It's upside down. It's an SPF of 50 so it's supposed to be like a, a powder foundation that comes with an SPF. All you need put it on as sunscreen is what they really said on the package but it's in medium so it's a lot a lot too dark for me so I've used it a couple times now as like a contour and bronzer so the ways that I know you can use bronzer is sweeping it literally just all over your face. A lot of people do that in the summer to warm up their, like if their foundation is too light for them. Um, I haven't done that since like I first started wearing makeup because I've embraced the pale. I know that I'm pale. I don't mind being pale. Um, but the way that I have recently been using it is I take a big fluffy brush. This one is Sonia Kashuk. And they don't sell this anymore. It's one of the, they've got like a special handle. It's not special or anything, but it was a limited edition handle, I guess. And um, I bought this at Target. I'm sure that you can find a fluffy brush from Sony Kashuk if you want. I definitely would pick a different one if I could go back. Um, this one tends to lose its bristles very easily. I have had it for a while and I do wash it regularly, so that could be why. But I have found that this one is just, it's kind of coarse. It kind of feels like you're rubbing hay on your face. This bronzer is super powdery. It kicks up a lot of powder. So I always pat my thing off. But I like to put it up on my cheekbones, under my cheekbones, I guess. So kind of like where you would put your contour. But in kind of like a less precise way. So it's more just like warming up your cheekbones. I put a little bit down here under my chin and down my neckline. The foundation that I'm wearing today is a little bit dark for my skin so I didn't contour, I didn't highlight, didn't blush, didn't anything. I just kind of put it on and went with it. I did put a powder foundation over it but whatever. And then just up on my hairline. If I was a person who used bronzer every single day, I would typically just put it up here on my forehead, probably. Um, maybe a little bit down my nose. But I, you know, like I said, I don't wear it every day. I'm much more of a contour kind of girl. But that's a good option. Um, a lot of people use the Wet n Wild color icon that I've seen on YouTube. So I know that it's a favorite for a lot of people and... Um, 
they have a couple different shades. Reserve Your Cabana is the lightest, I believe. So then the other thing that I have is this color science thing, and it's messy. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to just put that on my face. You can't see it very well, but it's darker than my skin tone. <laughs> I'm real, real pale. Bronzer is really great for warming up your face. I don't see a lot of people using it in the winter. Um, I think that it's kind of more of like a summer sun-kissed look kind of thing. Liquid bronzers are okay too. I use sponge for everything liquid. Foundation, if I do liquid contour, liquid highlight, I use my sponge. But, you know, you could do... Like this was also from Sony Kashuk and you can't buy it anymore. But I'm sure they have other designs that are like this where it's like an angled brush. I've used this one. This is the Pro Flawless Airbrush number 56 from Sephora. It is not super dense. Um, it's kind of fluffy and I used to use this for my contour a lot so you could use something like this if you're trying to be more precise with your bronzer. But overall the big fluffy brush is my friend and what I typically would pick for if I was putting on bronzer. If you know that there are ways that you like to use your bronzer, comment down below and leave me a note and let me know so that I can try that out and recommend that to my friends that uh, were asking for my help. If there's anything that you'd like to see me do, make sure to leave a comment, send me a message, um, tweet at me. I don't really tweet that much. Comment on my Instagram. Um, I'm Mollywood Makeup with three M's before Mollywood. It's really confusing, I know, and I probably should change it, but MMM Mollywood makeup, all one word. And you can find me on Facebook too, I'll link everything below, and I will put links to the bronzers that I use today, um, and if I can find something similar in the brushes, I will put those down below as well. So I hope that you'll subscribe while you're here and come back to check out more of I think I'm going to call this Molly Does Makeup, so I look forward to making these for you. If you have any suggestions, let me know. Thanks. Bye.